Hi, welcome back to this week's video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can install applications on your Mac using just one command. We want to do this using the Homebrew tool, commonly known as Brew. So Brew is a simple command line tool that can manage application installations on our Mac. It allows you to install, upgrade and uninstall graphical and command line applications onto your Mac really quickly and easily. If you've used Linux before, you can think of it a little bit like apt or yum, for instance. Now, traditionally, Brew was used to install just command line tools, but now Brew can also be used to install graphical applications such as Firefox and OBS Studio, for instance. So, let's get started. Like most tasks when using Brew, installing it in the first place is really simple. So all you need to do is go to the Brew website, which is brew.sh, and run the command. Now usually I'm a bit cautious about running commands like this directly, but I have checked out the script and I do trust this site. So let's click the little clipboard icon to copy this to our clipboard, and then we need to open our terminal. So we'll go to Finder, then Applications, then Utilities folder, and finally start our terminal. So we'll make this window bigger so you can see. Now we just need to paste the command in and press enter. So let's go up to the edit menu and choose paste and press enter. And we'll be prompted for our password so we'll enter that. Now the installer will first let us know what it's going to do before it does anything. So here it will install some files, create some folders and it will install the Xcode command line tools. If you've already got the Xcode command line tools installed, it will skip this. And also, just to note, this isn't the full Xcode suite, it's just the command line tools. So if you're happy with this, press enter to start the install. Now, depending on the action being taken by the installer, it can take a few minutes, so we'll just skip forward. And that's it, Brew's installed. A final thing to note is that sometimes after installation, some people have trouble running the brew command. The system says the command cannot be found. Now the fix for this is provided by the brew installer. If you see towards the end of the installer, there are two commands that you can run. And usually running these on your system will fix it. Now the commands that you get here may be different from the ones in this video, so please make sure to run the commands that you got during install. I didn't need these however, so I'm going to move on. So now we've got Brew installed, let's try it out. So first let's verify that Brew is working. So we'll type Brew, all lowercase, and press enter. And we should see this help message displayed. So that looks all okay to me. The next command we will run is Brew list, and press enter. This command will show the applications we have installed and as expected, we currently have none. So let's install some now. So one of my favorite command line tools is wget. It's a simple command line tool for downloading things from the internet, but it's not part of macOS out of the box, as you can see if I try to run it here. So we'll install it with brew. Let's type in here brew install wget and press enter. Now all this text can be ignored, it's nothing to worry about, it's just getting all the component it needs for wget to work. So now that's installed, we'll clear our terminal and try to run wget. So as you can see, it's now installed. So now if we type brew list, we can see now we've got some applications installed. So installing apps that we know exist is easy enough but it's also easy to find and install other applications. So if we go back to the Homebrew website, you'll notice there's a search box. So it's a really good way to find applications to install and to get the commands you need to install them. So to demonstrate this, I'm going to search for the tree application. So we'll type tree and click the link. So now you can see this page shows us all about the application, but more importantly, it also includes the command to install it. So if we click the clipboard icon here and go to our terminal, and then we'll paste that in, and press enter, it will install tree for us, which is really easy. So you can find lots of applications by using the search box and get their install commands directly on their web page. 
So up to this point, we've installed some command line tools. So now let's install some graphical applications. Homebrew has got a built-in tool to do this named Casks. So let's look at an example. Let's install the Firefox web browser, for instance, using Brew. So if we go back to the Homebrew website and search for Firefox and then click on there and then we will see the expected page all about the application and also the install command. So if we click the clipboard to copy this command and then we'll go back to our terminal and we'll paste that in here and press enter to start the installation. So after a few minutes that's done. So let's type brew list and see the results. So as you can see Firefox is there. So we'll go to our application folder and you can see we now have Firefox installed in just one simple command. So there's hundreds of command line and graphical applications available to install from brew. We can look at the complete list of all the graphical applications on the Homebrew website. So if we go to the main page and scroll down and then click on the Homebrew Packages link and then if we click on Browse All Casks so we'll be taken to a very, very long list of graphical applications that we can install all with just one command. So let's scroll back up and find OBS for example, a popular application for streaming and screen recording. So we'll click the link. So as you can see, there is a command, so we can use this to demonstrate again how to install an application. And when we've installed this application, we're also going to demonstrate how to remove it as well. So first of all, we'll copy the command and then we'll go back to our terminal and we'll paste that in here and press enter to run. So now the installation is completed, let's open Finder and go to our Applications folder and check the application is installed. So as you can see, it's there, OBS. So to demonstrate how to remove applications, let's now uninstall OBS. So back in our terminal, let's just clear the screen. So now let's type brew list just to verify our installed applications and you can see OBS is installed as expected. So let's now use the uninstall command of brew to remove OBS from our system. So let's type brew uninstall dash dash cask and then OBS and press enter and then type our password and then brew will uninstall OBS from our system. Now if we run brew list, as you can see the OBS has now been removed from the installed application list. And if we go to applications folder, we can see that it's no longer installed. So just to recap, to uninstall applications, all we need to do is get the install command and change the word install to uninstall. So that's about it for this video. So hopefully now you can see how Brew can be used to install and remove applications really easily from your Mac and see the simplicity and powerfulness of this really cool tool. I'll leave you with this simple cheat sheet that lists the main commands to get the most out of Brew and I'll also link it in the description below. So I hope this video helped and was useful. Please consider subscribing if you can, it'd be really appreciated. I'll pop a comment down below and let us know how you've got on. Thanks for watching, I'll see you soon.